morning, morning. We're here the last of the days of fishing here in Minnesota. Um, you can see vastly different day. You can see my breath, but it's starting at 30 something instead of 20 something. So it's supposed to get up to 50. One of the last couple days I was able to launch my boat um, here. Haven't been here all year, but wanted to try for smallmouth one last time. My largemouth areas that I've been fishing the last couple years haven't happened, so pretty excited. Pretty excited that uh, we're able to launch the boat. Excited that uh, it's going to be warm out today. And I'll put a stick at the access to make sure they don't drop the water out on me because they start dropping the dam here in this part of the river soon. So we're going to get to fishing. Hopefully, we can catch some big ones. But let, yesterday was an absolute bust. We caught a couple of crappies, zero smallmouth. We saw another boat out there slaying on a couple. So I just slightly misread what was going on with the smallmouth they kind of positioned a little different on the point i was at but ready ready to get out fishing pumped so more to come next the water being 39 degrees probably not the best idea but we're gonna start out with crankbait because really like to catch a couple on a crankbait well Unreal, that was an absolute bust. Cut that one crappie. I don't know what to think, but we're gonna try one other lake. We're gonna try to get a couple large mouth for the last day here. It's gorgeous out, I don't got a jacket on. So hopefully we can get something together here because that was atrocious. On to the next lake. Wow, things are a little shallow around here. A little tricky, the boat moved on me, but we're on a lake. waters hopefully just trying to catch a bass um, I heard this lake's been good this fall so we're gonna get after it the water temperature was that high high 30s on the river fishing gets pretty tough then hopefully it's a little warmer out on the lake but more to come <laughs> unreal unreal first two casts and that thing came up wow cool colors the lake's 46 degrees we'll take that yeah boy Unreal. We just grabbed the white chatterbait. Um, yeah, pretty cool. First two casts. The wind's kind of blowing in on this bank. The water's a little warmer here, 46. Um, maybe it's going down. Um, it's like I fish a lot, but I never get here this time of year because it's usually tough for me. But I heard this fall that the lake was going on and First two casts. Yeah, boy. That's a big one. Wow. Bad, which river is usually the good part of the fall, and then just that little bit of a slip. 
switch. And now you're snapping them. Not a big one, but we capture them. Just way, way up there, but there's a little bit of wind blowing in which kind of it's crazy to me sometimes, but that's what the fish want. I switched just to a little lighter of a chatterbait, a little quarter ounce one, green pumpkin, and yeah, that thing crushed it. Man, it got me right down in the weeds. How cool is that, though? Now it's getting silly. Just under five, 489. Oh, yeah. Yeah, boy. That's why we go fishing. You just never know what it's going to be. I've been chasing after these smallmouth. I caught after about six, seven, eight hours between yesterday and today. Zero smallmouth. Water temperature is way colder on the river than what it is on the lakes right now. To be at 46 today, it's 38 on the river, like I said, and they're just freaking chewing here. <sighs> Sweet. Another little 
guy. Just using this 3 8 It's a custom chatterbait tackle warehouse. I like the hooks a lot better on it. It's got a good keeper. Let's keep it going, dude. off some weeds and this guy came and hit it just trying to maximize the area we'll see if we can get it in it's pissed but I ripped it off that weed and came and grabbed it Ooh, that's another big one pretty big one ah it's just a decent one barely yep but you can see it just barely had that crankbait but I ripped it off some weeds and it came and grabbed it heck yeah before this switched up chatter baits again not a big one but still capturing heck yeah a lot of fish down there I guess Just a little 
just tore up. But started using this the last year or so. This little Berkeley swimmer on the back. They're actually pretty cheap, but it's a great addition on a chatter bait. Just uh it's not a huge profile, it just gives it a little swimmy on the back. Pretty sweet. Wow, what a what a day that was. Um obviously terrible in the morning for that whole river deal. I can't believe that uh, they're not biting but the water's so cold. But I got here to the lake and uh unreal, what a way to end the year. As you can see I put my rods away, but thrown the white chatterbait, that other chatterbait. Um I got a couple of crank and there's just a lot of fish on that a little bit of weed. Funny uh, how the weeds coming back now that curly leaf off do a little video about that but it seems to be a deal going on up here is that shallow shallow curly leaf that's coming in here at the end of the year on my area lakes but uh, wow that's uh, two two awesome times here the last little bit you got to take it in here in the when you live way 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 up the US so what a day, that was a blast. Catch that one just under five, caught quite a few fish. Um, water temperature on the lake being 43. So I hope uh, I hope it came across as cool as cool as it was out there because I had an absolute blast. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.